Had a pretty mild winter. Got to spend a lot of time out in the barn. Uh, I've been fighting a, a cold I got this weekend, and it's uh, miserable. And I, <laughs> and I'm a grumpy old man right about now. But I, uh, I just can't sit still. Uh, I posted something to the Cycle Card Forum, Cycle Card Club Forum, about uh, measuring the uh, the uh, spacing between the bearings. Uh, some some uh, wheels come with a spacer in between there. Some don't. You might get a used one; doesn't have one in there. But for whatever reason, you might want to make a, uh, need to make a, a spacer, a bearing spacer in there. And uh, the problem is trying to measure that. Now, I suppose it's some of the guys are just happy with going in here with a with a ruler and saying, okay, that's two and a half inches. I'll make it, you know, cut it two and a half inches and stick it in there. Whether it's long or short doesn't matter. And uh, that'll probably work okay uh, for a while. The uh, this particular dirt bike wheel came with a bearings and it came with five eighths bearings. I'm using three quarter bearings, uh, and a and, and it came with a spacer. And uh, the spacer was uh, actually the spacer ended up being uh, thirty thousandths over what this distance is between the, the, the uh, bottom of this boss and the, the shoulder on the other boss. So when you put your bearings in there, uh, the, the cart moving back and forth the way we use them uh, with side loading and stuff can actually work in there and start working the bearing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Uh, that'll wear your, your uh, hub out and probably wear the bearings out too. So anyway, the first uh, thing I tried was a, uh, I made a little uh, uh, hook gauge that, uh, that goes in, hooks in, hooks in the other side, the boss on the other side, and then this, this slides in, locates in this boss, snug it up, Take it out, and when you get it out, then you can measure it with a, uh, a dial caliper. And you can come up with your, with your spacing. And if you want to double check that, you can go in with a, with a mic and you can double check your caliper. These are not always that accurate. Uh, Trying to use this depth blade on here to take a measurement is really not a very good idea. They're not accurate. They're very rarely accurate. Uh, there's better ways of doing it. So this works out pretty good. And uh, I wasn't real happy with that. And I was laying awake last night thinking about this. And uh, I decided to try something different. So I made a couple phony bearings. These are these are just uh, dummy bearings that I can use, and they're just a little bit smaller, so they go in and out of the, the wheel easy. There's a couple thousand smaller. And uh, I can take this bolt, which has been faced off perpendicular to the to the axis, so it's 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 square across the end. I know it's square across the end. And uh, also, I check the diameter so to make sure that there's no binding on the, on the diameter. So I take that, take one of my dummy bearings. Now, the spacer that I want to use, I've cut, roughly cut to, to length, maybe an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch uh, oversized. Uh, and then the ends have been turned down on the lathe so that they are perpendicular to the axis. And I can put that in the wheel. 
radio. Backwards. You gotta have room for your depth mic. Okay, so we got the stack in there with the spacer that hasn't been turned to the to the right diameter. And you can see that the bearings are moving back and forth. The, be the bearings are sandwiched together with the spacer and the, and the axle. So you can see that there's a lot of slop in there, okay? You don't want that, and that's what, you, that's what we're trying to avoid. So the first thing we do is Take a measurement, a depth measurement, with the bolt down. We'll go in, uh, plate on there. We'll go in and take a measurement on here. And that measurement came out to 4.23 thousandths, 423 thousandths. Then, Drop a little spacer down in here. Now let's push back up this direction. And we can take a measurement on this. And that came out to 265 thousandths. So 423 thousandths, 265 thousandths, the difference is 158 thousandths. At that point, at that point, I can take my my uh, spacer and I can take it to the lathe and I can turn it down to the dimension that I want. And uh, taking the 158 thousandths off, I end up with uh, two inches and thirty thousandths. So let's see how that fits. I got it right here. Okay. There's my spacer. There's my other bearing. I'll tell you what, I'll put the actual put the bearings, the bearings, the real bearings in there. Put it together. Whoop. Put the spacer in there. We'll see if the see if the length comes out right. This is just because I'm using a long bolt. I have to use a long spacer. I should have a, a one eighth washer that I that I use on these to space them out. So now this is just the way it would be on the spindle. And we don't want to snug it up too much. A little bit. We're gonna have a. We're going to have a safety nut on there, so we don't need to really jam it down real tight. Uh, and uh, now we can see there's no no slap whatsoever in the spindle, and the, bearing, and the bearings are free; they're not binding up. So that's uh, that's what I've been. Uh, up to for the last week. Prior to that, so that's one way of, uh, of measuring the uh, the uh, space for, for the spacer in here, and uh, that really seems to work out pretty good. Uh, I don't know if. 
the other ones, you know, if another wheel would be exactly the same, but you know, it, uh, it, it's going to come pretty close. They're probably not exactly the same. So, I'm going to move you over here a little bit. I've been working on a uh, tire changer. And uh, it's always a pain in the ass to change the tires on these, uh, these cycle carts. Let's see. I had trouble with the uh, the wheel turning when you're when you're working the uh, I might not need these these standoffs once they get going here, but uh, for the time being, I was trying to do some small wheels with some big tires, and that just didn't work at all. Well, I guess that's right. The, uh, these go in and grab the, uh, the, uh, the wheel on the outside. Of course, at a tire shop, they'll have a hydraulic tool to do that. And I've got an Acme screw here. Well, I'm fucking this up, but good. I'm fucking this up, but good. I really haven't used this. It's uh, all new, and I'm waiting on tires, I'm waiting on rims, I'm waiting on tubes, I'm waiting on flaps, so I really haven't had a chance to do much of any of them with it. So a lot of it's, uh, I'm, I'm still, in. okay, that's, that's really, that's, that's rigid, that's good and solid. And then uh, the overarm comes down. Not here. And, uh, and 
that's uh, that's how we put the tire on. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry for the the, the bad video, but uh, I'm not a videographer. So that's uh, that that's kind of a copy of the Harbor Freight idea. Uh, Harbor Freight has a pedestal they sell for fifty nine dollars, and uh, it's kind of flimsy. And I have changed tires on it, but it's a real pain in the ass to use. Uh, this these adapters. A uh, guy came up with the idea for these adapters, and he sells them for about, oh, I don't know what they are, between four and $500. And uh, I just copied all his ideas and uh, made my own. They have a needle bearing down here, br brass bushing in here that this rotates on. And uh, there's thrust bearings in here, thrust needle bearings. And I made these uh, collars up because they're like 25 bucks a piece if you try to get, buy them online or, you know, from a vendor. And uh, this is the same idea as the other one. There's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, duck's head that goes in this one so I made two of these up on uh, this one here this actually threads down onto the original uh, post that the uh, hybrid freight uh, comes with this one over here that won't work uh, on this doing it this way because the post on here is too big to go through the center of a motorcycle wheel so that's why I made the, the other uh, 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 changer. But this will work good on a, uh, on a car and uh, when it's anchored down and would make, make changing a car tire pretty easy. Well, I guess that's about all I'm gonna do right now. Uh, <laughs> again. Sorry about the videos. I'm just, I'm not a videographer. Just kind of what I've been up to.